Hi, thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Timmy. I'm a customer success manager at Vio, and I will walk you through the basics of the Vio video player and share some best practices on how to use the platform. The agenda for today is we will go through the basic structure of the Vio platform, tips on how to set up your teams, the VO video player, how to create highlights, player's profile, the basic uh, video settings, and also how to download and share your recordings. app.vio.co is the platform where you can access your club's themes and recordings. By typing in app.vio.co in your browser, you will access our page. Via that, you can log in to your account by entering your email address, password, and pressing the sign in button. Here, you will see your club's recordings, themes, and mentions. Also, there is some additional information about your club. By clicking on the menu bar on the top right corner and choosing My Cameras, you can, for example, see your camera serial number, the subscription type you have, and the expired date. In case your subscription would expire, you will just need to press the Renew Subscription button and you can renew the subscription. As I mentioned earlier, creating teams and inviting players is a crucial step in setting up your account. To make sure that you can use the VO platform to its full potential, I will show you how to add players and create teams. By clicking on the Add New Team button, you will just have to enter some basic information about your team, press Create New Team, and then you will see the team on your list. By pressing on the team, you also have a button called Add New Members. There are two ways of inviting your players. You can either do it uh, via bulk link. You will just need to choose the role and the permission role you would like your players to have. And then copy paste the link, send it to them as in, in an email, and then they will be able to join the team. Another way is to add players one by one. In this case, you will just click on the Add New Team Member button and enter the information about the player. They will receive an email and appear on your teams list. Now that you have your team set up and players invited, I will show you the VO Video Player. You can access this view by clicking on one of your videos and then the VO Video Player will show up. By default, the video plays in a broadcast view just like in the TV. It follows the action on the pitch. You can switch this view by clicking on the interactive icon down below the recording. I prefer to use the panoramic view when analyzing training sessions, since it gives me a full pitch overview. In case you would like to follow through a specific action on the pitch, you can switch to the interactive view by clicking this button. This is a super nice feature as you can follow through an action of a specific player and create a highlight. The video player also enables you to fast forward, mute and watch your recording in a full screen mode. The most exciting and proactive way to give feedback to your players and analyze the game is to create highlights. I always start by deleting or accepting my AI highlights. It takes a few clicks and after accepting, you will see the rendered highlight in the highlight thread. After this step, you can go ahead and create your own custom highlights, either in broadcast or interactive view. I will start by showing you one of our newest features called Easy Highlights. At the bottom of the video editor, below the video player, you will see the Easy Highlights button. You can either click on one of the buttons or just press the relevant letter on the keyboard. For example, to add the goal, you press G. You can then tag a player involved in the action and write some feedback in the comment. After you are done, you have to press Enter and then the video will save. If you would like to capture one of your players and give them a bit more feedback, you can create a directed highlight. This way, you will be able to move the screen, zoom in and follow the player. By adding keyframes, you can also capture this action step by step. Here, I will capture a defensive positioning. I will type my feedback and tag the player to make sure he receives a notification. 
This is what your player sees after creating a mansion. The last highlight type you can create on the platform is called Draw on Screen. This is a very, very visual type since you can draw on your screen and give, for example, directions to where your player should move on the pitch. Click the new highlight, click on the icon in the bottom right corner, and then press the drawing tools and save the highlight. It will also show up in your highlight thread. The players can benefit a lot from the highlights you create. They can create a personalized page where they can collect all of their best moments. By sharing the URL link to this page, they can send this profile like a CV to college recruiters or for their family members. It's very important that you make sure that the game where you create the, these highlights from is public. By clicking on the three dots above the highlight button, you will be able to access the settings of the recording. This is where you can set the recording's privacy. It's also possible to edit the privacy and the length of each highlight. Just click the three dots, press edit, and make the adjustment. We arrive to the last point of this webinar, which will be about downloading and sharing your recordings and highlights. Your recording can be shared directly to Facebook or via a link. If you would like to share a highlight on Instagram, you can download it first and then upload it. The downloaded footage is 1080 pixels and it's an MP4 file. Based on previous feedback, I would like to share with you some tricks. In case you would like to analyze the game before your players see it, you will just need to upload the footage from the camera, wait until you receive an email notification saying that your recording is finished to upload. Then you can go in, create highlights, and when you are done with the editing, press the settings and assign your recording to the team. In case you prefer to have the players analyze the game proactively, you can actually, straight after uploading the recording, assign it to the team and give them a homework to create two highlights where they provide you with some feedback on their own actions on the pitch. Then after this, you can actually discuss and reply to them in the reply field. There are some questions that always come up during our conversations with all of you. And then I would just like to go through a few of them. The maximum length of a directed highlight is actually 15 minutes. This is the amount of time you can follow a player, create the highlight and then download it. The highlights with drawings are not downloadable. If the children have, for example, no email address, you can actually add them using their parents' email address and name the profile as the player's name. Uh, another thing which is very important is that interactive mode at the moment only works uh, in Google Chrome and not in Safari. We will answer your questions in the comment section or in a follow-up email. Thank you so much for participating in this webinar. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us via support at Have a great day.